Hi, my name is Sergeant Dixon. I'm a respiratory therapist at Longshore Regional Medical Center. And in this video, we will go over the proper calibration of the INO Max DSIR. This is for training purposes only, and I'm not a representative of INO Max. First step to conduct the calibration, I will plug in the power cord and the oxygen line. From here, I will follow the quick reference card located on the front of the INO Max. I will start on the left hand side with letter A. Number one, I will check the white plastic tip or o-ring on the regulator for any damage. On this specific model there is not a white plastic tip, it's actually a black plastic o-ring tip. Located right here, you're just visually checking it to make sure it's not cracked or missing. Next I will connect the high pressure regulator to the INO Max cylinder and the INO Max DSIR. If the regulator needs to be plugged into the back of the DSIR, it's a metal connector and it comes over to the NO N2 input location. And it simply connects by sliding it in, applying a little pressure, and hearing the click. Next step, I will open and then close the INO Max cylinder valve. At this point, I'm just waiting a few seconds to verify that I am not losing pressure in the system, either at the regulator or in the back of the DSIR. At this time, I will turn on the DSIR with the power button located on the bottom right in the back. Now that the system is on, we will start with letter C, perform the low range calibration. To get into the low range calibration, I will select the top right button on the screen, select low range calibration, and low range calibration light will flash on the right side of the screen, and I will select that. This point takes about three minutes for it to calibrate. Once it calibrates, we'll proceed on. Alright, at this point, our low range calibration is complete. Next step, I will perform purge and alarm verification. On the quick reference card, it clearly states the connectors or device that you need to have in order to make your setup look like this. Alright, continuing on, I'm going to ensure that my INO Max cylinder valve is closed. I can verify that by ensuring that the nut valve is closed or just simply looking at the screen and verifying that neither the top of the bottles are green illuminated. Next I will connect the wall or cylinder oxygen. With the INO system here at Launch Tool, we will keep a flow meter in the bin in the back. And I'm going to set the O2 flow meter to 10 liters per minute. Next. 
Next, I will set the INO max dose to 40 parts per million for an 800 part per million cylinder. I verify that I have 800 parts per million by looking at the side of the cylinder and in big bold letters, it's labeled 800 parts per million. If it were any other dose, it would be the same way. The other common dose is 400 parts per million. Setting the dose to 40 parts per million. Touch the screen, use this lever or knob to select and push the knob or touch the screen. You'll see that I'm getting an error saying cylinder valve is closed. Per the reference card, that's what I want to see. My purge is complete when the NON2 pressure alarm activates. So we'll wait for that alarm. All right, at this point, you see that we achieved that alarm, low NO and 2 pressure. Next, I will open the cylinder valve. And I will turn the INO max dose to zero. I will get a notification saying that the set dose is zero and to close the cylinder valve. At this point, I do not want to close the cylinder valve. Next, I will perform the backup delivery system, still ensuring that the oxygen flow is set at 10 liters per minute. I will turn the backup delivery to the on position. This is the backup delivery knob. Simply turn it quarter of a turn to the right and you'll see that it's activated. This knob should be used for emergency situations. In the event that you're not getting any sort of reading and it will automatically deliver 20 parts per million NO. Referring back to the pre-use checklist for an 800 parts per million cylinder my NO reading should be between 14 and 26, which we've achieved that. And my NO2 should be less than or equal to 1.0, or 0 0.03. Moving on, we'll turn the backup delivery off. Next, we'll complete the INO Max DSIR performance test, showing that my oxygen flow is still set at 10 liters. Set the dose to 40 parts per million. We'll wait for the values to stabilize. All right, pretty stabilized. So Referring back to the checkout card on the front of the INO system, our NO value should range between 35 and 45. We're there. And NO2 should range less than 1.5, which we've achieved. Our FIO2 reading should be 95%, plus or minus 
we are there. Next, I'll perform the INO blender test. At this point, I'm going to turn down to zero. I will get my message that I turned to zero. I will take out the injector module for my setup. And I'll take my oxygen tubing from the wall. And I will place it on the INO blender. I will set my dose to 40 parts per million. And I will set my flow to 10 liters. Giving the device a minute to stabilize, we'll look at some values. Once we're stabilized, 800 parts per million cylinder, we should be looking at an NO value of 32 to 48, which we have achieved at. Turn the dose to zero, and I will remove the pre-use setup from the INO blender. So turning my dose to zero, turning my flow down, I remove that. At this point, the calibration is complete and you would have 10 minutes to ensure that this got onto a ventilator circuit. If you exceed that 10 minutes, you need to recalibrate starting at letter A and working your way through the checklist located on the front of the INO device.